Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is DLSS 4 launch day, and there's a couple things going on. We do have the DLSS 4 launch. We also have an update to the frame gen mod, and I have now sort of clarified a misunderstanding in my own mind about what was gonna happen today. So DLSS 4 has been released. My understanding was that Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and Flight Sim 24 we're going to be day one compatible. When I, when I hear day one compatible, what I, what I think is that they're gonna work out of the box on day one. That's not the case. We have to set this up using the NVIDIA app to override the settings in Flight Sim 2020 and 24 to inject the new preset K and the new version of DLSS, which is version 310.1.2. We do need to update things from the other day when we had the kind of the preview version and the preview DLSS files. We need to update that stuff and I'll walk you through how to do that. I'll also walk you through having how to update the frame gen mod. I have gotten the DLSS 4 to work in Flight Sim 2020. I have not been able to get it to work in Flight Sim 24. I've seen a few people online who have gotten it to work with 24. I haven't. Most people that I've seen have not been able to get it to work in 24, and that includes people with RTX 40 cards. I haven't seen any 50 cards. I have tried literally every single possible solution. So I'm going to walk you through how this works in Flight Sim 2020, which is what you know I think most people are still using anyway. So I'll walk you through that. The first thing you need to do is update the NVIDIA app. And if you haven't updated the NVIDIA app, when you come in, there's gonna be a bar up here at the top that telling you to restart the app in order to get the latest version. So go ahead and do that. And once you've done that and you have the latest version of the app, click here on drivers and it's gonna tell you that there is an updated driver. The new driver is 572.16. The one that we were using, the preview driver, was 571.96. So again, you're going to have to re you're going to have to install this new driver 572.16. Once you've done that, when you come here into the graphics settings, and for me, when I come down here in Flight Sim 24, all of the DLSS overrides are grayed out. When they say DLSS override, that's what they mean. We have to override the settings in the sim in order to get DLSS 4 to work. So as you can see, I can't do that in Flight Sim 2024, but if I click here on Flight Sim 2020 and come down, now I have those options. We've got DLSS override model presets. Now what the model presets are, are the preset J, which is the most recent one that we were using, preset E, preset F, these different presets that we have for the various DLSS technologies. So you can do one of two things. You can click on latest right here, and what it's going to do is in, it, it will inject DLSS preset K, which is the new preset, the newest preset for all the DLSS technologies. And that is frame generation, ray reconstruction, and super resolution. And that's really what we want. And so I would suggest you just do that. Just click latest right here and apply. And here's one of the strange things that's gonna happen when you click on this again to open it, it's gonna, instead of having this highlighted like we had and saved, it's gonna have this highlighted. And the only thing that's gonna be highlighted for me as a drop down here is this super resolution. And the reason why is because I technically with a 30 series card don't have frame generation because we're using the mod. And secondly, ray reconstruction we don't have in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So the only thing that I can actually override is the DLSS super resolution. And so you've got all the presets here through J, which was the preview preset for DLSS 4. If you click here on latest, it's gonna give you preset K, and that's the one we want. I'm just gonna click on cancel to get out of this. If you have a 30 series card like me, that's basically as far as you can get in Play Sim 2020. If you have a 40 series card, you should be able to click on this, click on use same settings for all DLSS technologies, click on latest, apply, and because you do with an RTX 40 series card, 
have frame generation or a 50 series card if you happen to have one today, which is doubtful, it will insert preset K for your frame generation and super resolution. And theoretically in Flight Sim 24, it would also set preset K for the ray reconstruction, which we have in part in Flight Sim 2024. So basically, regardless of which graphics card you have, the RTX 30, RTX 40, you're gonna to wanna to click here on latest and then click apply. So that's step one. The next thing we need to look at is updating the frame gen mod. So let's go through that real quick. So in order to update the frame gen mod, it is now version 0.110. This version right now is not on the Nexus mods page where it used to be. It is now back on GitHub but it's in a strange place on GitHub. So I'll put a link in the description where you can find this. You come here and you click on this link, DLSS G to FSR 3, 0 0.110 January, 2025. Click on that. It's gonna open this page, come up here to the upper right, click on download. It's gonna ask you where you wanna save the file. Save the file to your PC. Now you're gonna to wanna to extract the zip file. And in this folder, if you have used the universal version, the previous version, version 0 0.100, which is the version that you had to use for Flight Sim 24, if you have used that version for Flight Sim 2020 and 24, all you have to do is what I'm gonna show you now. If you used the DLSS tweaks version of this mod, you need to reverse all of the DLSS tweaks setup and then do it this way. So if you're coming from the 0 0.100 universal version for Windows Store users, you would first come here to Xbox to see Xbox Games, Microsoft Flight Simulator, content. For store users, you guys need to find out where your flight simulator.exe folder is. That's that's the folder you need to copy these files into. So you need to come to this folder and then take these two DLL files that we just downloaded and drag and drop them into this folder. Click replace the files at the destination. I've already done that, so I'm gonna click close. And then you come here, for me, Microsoft Flight Simulator 24 is called Limitless. So you come here to see Xbox Games Limitless content. And then again, drag these two files into that folder, replace them, and you're good. The next thing we need to do, come into this folder, this disable NVIDIA signature checks folder, double click it, double click disable NVIDIA signature checks. It's gonna bring up this notification, registry editor. Are you sure you wanna continue? Now look, I've done this 50 times using this exact process. I've never had an issue with it but be aware that messing with your registry can screw up your computer. So I will leave it to you. If you don't wanna do this, don't do it. So you just click on yes, and then it's gonna tell you the keys and values have been successfully added to the register. And then you click okay, and you're good to go. Now we have the frame gen mod installed, the updated frame gen mod installed. All right, so here we are in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Come over here to options, general, and you're gonna see I have frame generation. I've got DLSS super resolution, DLAA. And we'll see here when I load in that I do have the new profile or the new preset K. All right, here we are loaded in. You can see on the lower left-hand corner, render preset K, DLSS, it says V3, but then here it says V310.2.1. NVIDIA app override. So this is exactly what we're looking for. We've got it set up. I don't know why it loaded me in at the wrong end of the airport, but let's go take a little hop around here. First of all, I'll just scan around and see what it looks like. Um, looks super, super clean, really sharp. I am running DLSS DLAA with frame gen. So let's release the parking brake here. And we'll do just a Quick little go, and we'll take a look at the glass cockpit. We'll take a look at any sort of... See, that is unbelievable. 
if you remember, see, you get, you get a little bit of it. If you're looking at the right place, you can get some artifacting. But for the, I mean, it's 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 ninety percent gone. Now look at the numbers. You can see a little bit right there, but a lot of it is gone. And and if you look at the numbers on the PFD as we take off here, look at how nice and clear those numbers are. And you're gonna get some. Uh, distortion over here because of the frame gen mod. You're also going to get some distortion in my voice because I have a cold and I can't talk. Um, but you can see even the the, the shadows from the uh, from the sailboats here just look really really good, and everything just looks super crisp. Look at the shadows right there from or the reflections of the boat. Um, just looks super crisp to me. Uh, VRAM about 9700, and this is with... Uh... Hold on, let's bring some power out here. This is with the... Uh... The major scenery right here. I mean, everything looks really nice. All right, we're back in the app here. A couple quick things you can try if for whatever reason your games aren't being recognized or if you're not getting any of these settings down here at all. Some of the, when I first loaded in to the NVIDIA app this morning, none of these things were even there. I couldn't even see them, much less select them. What you do is come here to these three dots, click on that, and then click refresh. And then it's going to tell you that no new programs were found, but it may reset these settings down here if you don't have them. If that doesn't work, the next thing that is suggested to do is go into add remove programs. Here's the NVIDIA app version 11.0.2.312. Uninstall that, and then just come here to the download page for the NVIDIA app, download the app, run the installer. That's the second suggestion they have for fixing this. If you don't have these settings available for Flight Sim 2020 or 24, and this is not exclusive to Flight Sim 2020 and 24. I've seen a lot of commentary from people across the web talking about having vastly different expectations of what this is going to be versus what it is. In other words, a lot of people were thinking what I was thinking, which is that if you have quote unquote day zero compatibility, that you're just gonna be able to load your game on day zero after this is launched, and it's gonna work. The LSS4 is gonna work. You're not gonna to have to override anything. Unfortunately, that's not the case for a lot of games. It's not the case for our Sims. That's just the way it is. There's a lot of confusion. It's uh, tech writers are not you know hired to write things clearly for the general public, in my opinion. So I spent a lot of time just figuring out what any of this nonsense meant before even getting to how to actually set it up and do it. So hopefully that brings some clarity to this whole thing for you. I'm going to keep an eye on Flight Sim 24 and see what happens over the next day or so. Obviously any updates or any changes, I'll bring them to you. But for right now, at least we can get it working in Flight Sim 2020 and enjoy that. And I'm telling you, you're going to like what you see. It's really, really nice. So I hope everybody's doing well. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments section below and take care.